Howdy, banger pals. Blaine Smith welcoming you back to another Overkill Reviews, Bangers Weekly Metal Review Show. I'm back. I'm back from Psycho Las Vegas. I had a crazy time. Uh, I hope I saw you there. I hope we said hi. I hope we took a picture. Thanks so much for everyone for chanting and hanging out there. Uh, see you next year. But right now, see you some post. Yes, while I was at Psycho, uh, Russian Circles released a new album called Gnosis. It came out on the 19th and Sergeant House. Damn, my early 20s are coming back with a vengeance lately in my reviews, eh? And uh, yeah, I'm always reviewing the metal adjacent, but not quite metal bands that the metal community has kind of accepted, like these guys formed in 2004 in Chicago. This instrumental post-rock trio has very much been, yeah, just kind of welcomed to the community, uh, beloved by the community, despite the fact that you might not exactly qualify them as metal. They don't have a metal archives page after all. Um, this is their eighth release, though I must confess I haven't listened to them in a number of years. So it's going to be fun for me. Let's check out an old college flame. Are they keeping fit? Or are they looking busted? Time to find out. Have you ever just lay down on a nice carpet? Maybe there is something in your system and just enjoyed how everything felt. Ooh. That's this record. Boy, the way it is captured is flawless. Everything sounds amazing. And, and it, the crazy thing is it sounds amazing no matter what you're listening to it on. I listen to it through my phone on my cheap Pixel Buds all the way up to my amp through my Sennheiser HD 6XXs and just Everything comes through so clearly. The texture's so rich. It's just, you just want to feel and taste and touch everything. Uh, but my absolute favorite part about all of it is the uh, way it fills up the space completely during the heavy parts. And then when you get to the kind of more quiet parts, the music retracts from the space and it feels like there's uh, this emptiness around you and it creates a great compare and contrast uh especially if there's something in your system what are you buying what are you buying um since every instrument rings out so clearly thanks to the aforementioned production it means that no matter what you're a fan of whether that's guitars drums or bass there is something here for you i guess even since there's since um uh and it's especially exciting for fans of drum and or bass gotta add the or in there to not confuse it with something i'm not a fan of uh because those really get a chance to star and it's not that the guitars aren't amazing it's just that uh very few records give drums and bass a chance to kind of really step into the limelight and the band sort of hands off who's the number one at the moment. Uh, it's a nice collaborative process. I guess the boys still get along after all these years. It's nice to see. Um, so, yeah, everyone gets a turn in the spotlight, and uh, that's always nice. It's nice to kind of, especially when you don't have vocals, it really makes it seem like, oh, it makes sense. This is an instrumental band. There's a reason they're doing this. Um, have a listen. Surprise! There's no surprises, which I, I, I'm not counting as a surprise. Uh, if you've heard 2000's How Strange Innocence by Explosion of the Sky, you kind of know how things go at this point uh, with any of these bands. Post stuff exists in a weird world where it all really blends together. This is definitely a negative if you don't like the stuff already because 
There is no thing here to try and convince you otherwise. Um, I don't take it as a huge negative in this case, though, because Russian circles are one of the best at it, and the production is incredibly modern, only in a good way. Um, it kind of feels like you're getting like a remaster of a classic game you loved, you know? It's it's still the same gameplay. You still know the beats. You still know where to turn left and right and where to shoot, uh, but you just kind of get to experience it with a bit more clarity, a bit more modern, uh, a bit more of the things that you've subtly gotten used to and haven't realized, so... Speaking of games, I uh, play games, but mostly I research metal monthly on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash metal comedy. And then if you like Twitch, we also have a Twitch at Banger, twitch.tv slash Banger TV, where Lockhorns is back. We're doing Shredders, Shredders, Shredders. Thursday is the first episode of Shredders of Metal, so we hope you'll come out to that 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Well, I know some of you enjoy it and are wrong. Uh, at this point, I've established I do not enjoy the overly bright sound associated with a lot of post material. Uh, what Russian circles do really well is never cross over into that sickly sweet uh, bright sound that can plague a lot of material like this. Uh, there's actually very little light segments on the record until the end end um uh, normally records like this flow you know uh, that, that. this is really just kind of like eh, eh, eh. Because uh, the last track is a kind of lot lighter, uh, softer track. But when you make that your album closer, it does a nice thing where it sort of acts as a palate cleanse uh, and causes me to put the record on again, kind of without even thinking about it, just going, oh, let me hear that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It lifts you up a little bit just so you're ready to press play again. And the lightest sound you're getting before that is maybe on Gnosis. But again, you have this thick, chunky bass throughout the whole thing that really kind of drags any sort of attempts to rise above the muck uh, and the muck being where I like to splash around in. And speaking of diving back in, one of the reasons I think this band has always been at the upper echelons of the genre is their ability to deliver a tight record. Uh, it, post is a very easy place to get self-indulgent. Uh, the, the, the type of musician that frequently makes this uh, is, is not known for restraint, we'll just say. Um, but this record, like a lot of theirs, comes in just under 39 minutes, and it's incredibly easy to get lost in it. Totally not realize 39 minutes went by. Snap out of it at the end and go, oh, okay, let's play it again. Um, th like I said, there's a closer, but there's barely even an opening before they just get right into music. Listen to the first 30 seconds of the record yourself. Sometimes you want things to change, and sometimes it's cool when they stay the same. Maybe it's because I haven't listened to Russian Circles in a number of years, but it's it, it was nostalgic and comforting that there's uh, a, a really skilled band putting out records like this still uh, at, at a really high caliber. Uh, like I said, nothing different happens on this record, but thanks in big part to Kurt Ballou's stellar ability to capture organic sounds in an incredibly modern way, it ends up feeling like an old classic with a fresh coat of paint on it. And that can put a smile on your face. It's a classic for a reason, you know? Uh, it's, a, it's a car driving down the street, and it's it, they, just, they just buffed it, they shined it, and it still looks great. And uh, that's why I'm giving it three and a half out of five of our classic skulls, but with a, a nice shine put on them. Thus, we come to our shout out time. Uh, I only have one, so it's not going to be a separate video this week because I'm just tapped out of music for August. But September, a lot of big records coming out that I'm excited to talk about. So for now, uh, if you like Russian Circles, I think you'll really like Rat, 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 uh, uh, Celestial Woods. It's an independent release out of India. came out August 5th. Uh, it's going to be a little more metal than Russian Circles. But yeah, it's got that weird exploratory kind of zone out, zone in kind of vibe and it's a really cool record with a great album cover so pick it up and 
Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you cool with Russian circles? Have you heard them before? Do you like them? Are they metal? Are they not metal? Do you like us occasionally covering these non-metal records? Uh, or are you trying to flip a table right now? Uh, chat with me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hit me up on AOL Instant Messenger, and I'll see you later. Boom.